as a Republican, with uh, a local conservative with a history of false statements. I guess when you look at this, do you think your removal could impact the results of the next election or, frankly, could have changed the results of 2020? Well, Aaron, thanks for having me on. Uh, first of all, yes, there's certainly a possibility that, that, that the, the real election's integrity would be thrown out the window when you start putting some of these dangerous demagogues in the place of uh, individuals who have carried out their duties and, and uh, under, at times, great uh, risk to their health and to their livelihoods. I will say this. I don't consider myself a hero. The real heroes are the ones who are unnamed, like you said, the, the workers, the poll election officials, the volunteers, the corporate citizens who you know, took out their time, spent money in order to get folks out to the polls. Uh, those are the true heroes. And for me, uh, it really is about uh, putting American democracy first. Uh, why? Because for me, I, I, I believe that voter access and elections integrity are the foundational pillars of, of a functioning democracy. And so I refuse, I simply refuse to be a tool for voter suppression and voter disenfranchisement uh, of our citizens. Um, 45 years ago, my family left Saigon uh, before the communists took over Vietnam. And uh, I, was, I was taught never to take our precious freedoms for granted. And so to me, uh, this is one small token of repayment. Helen, you know, Republicans say the changes to these election boards are to improve performance. That's the reason that they gave, uh, improve performance. What do you think that actually really means? You're being, uh, you know, uh, Bauke's being removed. Obviously, he's a Republican. You're being removed uh, along with others. Why, why do you think you're, you're really being removed from the election board? What does improved performance actually mean? Erin, thank you for having me. But I can tell you it is now was not removed to improve performance. The things that we have advocated for on the Morgan County Boards of Elections have been access, more access to the ballot box, uh, having diverse workers, uh, poll workers that will actually know how to operate new equipment that we have, the new voting machine technology, having intergenerational kind of workers, uh, making sure that polling locations are where they should be, having drop boxes. But we've advocated it's a big scheme that goes along with the total takeover. The most egregious part of SB202 is the takeover process, where they can take over boards of elections, as well as take over election supervisor responsibilities and take away constitutional uh, responsibilities from the Secretary of State. Uh, it has nothing to do with performance. Our board was performing. Uh, we executed our duties flawlessly and non -part in a nonpartisan way. So it was just a method of taking over. In addition to the legislation, the local legislation allows them also to take over boards of elections. I mean, it's pretty incredible, and we should point out, right, that bill only came to light. It only came even out there <clears throat> after the Republican secretary of state of your state uh, said that the uh, election had been won by Joe Biden. So then uh, suddenly in this bill, uh, he, that role, loses its authority to certify. Bauke, I want to play something else that the former president, Obama, said today about the fight over the voting rights bill that's going on up in Washington. Here's what he said. Think about this. In the aftermath of an insurrection with our democracy on the line and many of these same Republican senators going along with the notion that somehow there were irregularities and problems with legitimacy in our most recent election, they're suddenly afraid to even talk about these issues and figure out solutions on the floor of the Senate. They don't even want to talk about voting. And that's not acceptable. So, Bucky, you're a Republican. Why do you think Republicans in Washington are so opposed to this, so opposed to having a conversation, even when you have someone like Joe Manchin say, hey, look, we're going to put voter ID in there, right? Something Republicans have, have, have long cared about and is very popular among American voters. Why, why are Republicans so opposed to a voting bill? Well, I think, sadly, first of all, our Republican Party has devolved from a party of ideas uh, into a party of grievance and a cult of personality. In this case, uh, the elected officials are afraid 
that the base, uh, who, you know, they're pandering to the accusations and lies propagated by the former president, uh, will have an undue burden on them being reelected. Uh, but to me, the, the, again, voter access and elections integrity are the pillars of any strong democracy, and they are putting our, democ uh, our democracy on the line here. Uh, you know, 40 years ago, 30 years ago, no one ever did this. Uh, he graciously conceded when uh, Senator John McCain uh, lost to uh, President Obama in 2008. He graciously conceded. But we are at a point uh, in this nation right now where American democracy is being undermined by these repeated assaults uh, propagated by these dangerous demagogues. Russia and what you've got are just some, some very worrisome signs. Helen, you met with the vice president, Kamala Harris, to discuss voting rights just the other day. Do you think the Biden administration has a real plan? I mean, I know it's important to have those meetings, important to do that. I don't mean to demean it, but there's a difference between having these meetings and actually saying, well, we're going to do something and here's a plan of attack. Does she have one? I believe they have a plan for voting rights and, and listening to people on the ground to know where it really works, what really needs to be done is a great step. Uh, contrary to what our uh, local elected officials did, they didn't talk to people who are actually doing the work. They decided what they wanted to change, not even looking at the impact of what it might mean. There were a lot of election officials who were caught off guard by these, this bill uh, to take over their functions. Uh, things that they know to do, they've been doing this for years and they know how it works. So yep. the plan is to have a federal legislation is in place and we definitely need that legislation now. All right, thank you both very much. I